If you're looking to buy a home, should you enlist the help of a realtor? And if so, how do you find the right one? Real estate expert TJ Larson is here with the answers. TJ, great to see you as always. Good to see you. You say that one of the most important steps in buying a home is making sure that you have a good realtor. Why do you think this is so important? Number one, it's free. So, I mean, it's not really a hard decision to make. Uh, when you go to buy a property, the listing agent has a marketing fee already built in. So your fee is paid. So all the buyer needs to do is find the right realtor. They're going to know the market. They're going to know properties that that buyer may not be able to find on their own. And they've got access to every property that's absolutely out there. They're also going to know the process. They're going to know how to take you through all the contract documents. I think it's so important. When we bought our house two and a half years ago, I could not have done that on my own. I mean, yeah. I needed a real estate agent, but how do you go about picking the right one? I literally just asked a friend of mine, mm -hmm. it was Bobby Sisk actually, who recommended a realtor, and that's that's how I found one. Well, what I suggestions? hope that Bobby will recommend me from now on. So. <laughs> this was a long time ago. I understand. <laughs> um, friends are the best way, in my opinion. Uh, they're going to tell you who they trust, who they like. Better yet, they might tell you who they don't trust and who they mm -hmm. don't like, so they might get you to stay away from one that might not be the best for you. Um, uh, online, there's so much online right now. You can look up these realtors online. You can find out everything about them. You can read their bios. Make sure that they know the area. It's not only about knowing the process, but it's knowing about the areas that you're particularly interested in. Well, talk more about that. You think it's very important to find somebody. If you know you want to live in Myers Park, or yep. you want to live in Ballantyne, or you want to live in Cotswold, you need to find somebody who's familiar with those areas? Absolutely. I mean, if you go to, if you're looking in Myers Park and you find a Lake Norman realtor to represent the, you there, you may trust them. They may definitely be looking out for your best interest, but they may not know all of the deals. They may not know, know what's going on in that particular neighborhood. So find somebody that can actually prove to you that they have listings and they have sales in that particular neighborhood and they are very aware of the market and the market conditions. And you think, too, that you should have some chemistry with your realtor. I mean, I think it helps if you just kind of like the person. Yeah, you know, number one, you want to find out, uh, can they look out for my best interest? But if you've got that chemistry, maybe you can determine, will they look out for my best interest. When you've got a buyer's agent, their job is to negotiate for you the best price and the best terms, not just to secure a commission for themselves. So if you've got that chemistry, you know you've got somebody there who's going to want to take care of you. That helps so much. You, you mentioned the term buyer's agent. We hear that a lot. Listing mm -hmm. agent, dual agent. What does all this mean? Well, a buyer's agent is someone that you secure to have a fiduciary responsibility to represent you as the buyer. Fiduciary, Again. big word, TJ. And I, I nailed it. <laughs> Strategery, yes, I think, is the one that I messed up last time. So, but fiduciary it was statistics, actually. actually. Not that I'm keeping score or anything like that. Of course. But, yeah. uh, but let me see if I can get back on track here. Sorry, buyer's I asked you, agent. what do these terms mean? Yeah. <laughs> buyer's agent uh, is someone who has a fiduciary responsibility to the buyer to get them the best possible price and the best possible terms. There's a listing agent. That's the person with the sign in the front yard. Again, fiduciary responsibility to get the best price and the terms for the seller. Here's an interesting one. A dual agent. You call the number off of the sign. They represent the seller and they represent the buyer. How do they do that? They want to get the best price for the buyer and the best price for the, for the seller. That's sort of hard to do. So what they give you is non-privileged information. Everything that you should know as a buyer about that house. Everything that the seller should know about the buyer in terms of financing and those things. And then when it comes to negotiating price they need to give everybody the pertinent facts about what things are worth and then sort of back out of that part of the transaction okay how does the realtor get paid they get paid typically three percent they get paid only when the property closes so when you've got a buyer's agent who's driving you around every day nobody's giving them money for the uh, for the mileage they only get paid when the sale is consummated at the at the end and again it comes out of typically half of the listing agents commission when you go to sell your house you usually will give a fee of about six percent Three of that goes to the buyer's agent, three of it goes to the listing agent. That's why I always feel for real estate agents, because you could drive somebody around for hours and hours and hours and never see a dime. So you've got to be really patient. For more information, you can go to TJ's website. It's mytownhome.com, mytownhome.com. And I know he's a good real estate agent. TJ, thank, thank you. you so much. We appreciate it. Well,